Yo, what's up everyone? This is Zach from the Rare Candy TCG YouTube channel, and it's been a while, my peeps. Uh, I've I kind of been gone over the holidays. Well, not really gone. I did some light traveling between uh, Toronto, Montreal, and of course I played in some regionals. I went to San Diego early December, had, uh, had a great time out there, but I haven't really done it too much for the channel in the past little bit. Over here, I want to go over my Hitmonchan Primal Groudon Wobbuffet deck. Um, as you may or may not know, I took a very similar list. I think it's like 59 card out of 60 card list. I took this to the Portland Regional Championships, lost my win into top eight, rip sad. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Uh, it's great. Recently, my girlfriend, Michelle, she took this to Elite Cup. She made top eight. I decided to play Egrow. I think Egrow is also well positioned right now. But anyways, she took this deck to a top eight, and it's a true contender right now. But uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Oranguru, we got uh, the Sage Pokemon. It's great for drawing cards. You're not going to use Psychic here, or at least you shouldn't be using Psychic. Uh, I haven't used Psychic. Um... This really makes your deck kind of end-proof in a way. You do have to watch out for its interactions with Wobbuffet. Um, if you have Wobbuffet active, obviously you're going to be shutting off abilities. This would be one of the abilities that you would shut off as well. So do keep that in mind. But if you do retreat your Wobbuffet into a Hitmonchan or another Pokemon, or you Guzma around things, you can use a Ranguru. Really helpful. And it's a pretty shiny card for as well for all y'all collectors out there. Another shiny card, Buzzwill, um, Sledgehammer. This is basically used only when your opponent is at four prize cards left. This can swing for 120. If you think about the damage modifiers that we have in this deck, and boy, oh boy, do we have some. We have Martial Arts Dojo. We got uh, Diancy Prism Star. We got Straw Energy. We got Muscle Band, and we have Choice Band. So we got plenty of options here. To do extra damage, this Sledgehammer can quite often knock out something like a Tapu Lele GX, a Dedenne GX easily, and you can even get yourself into a position of knocking out some other high-profile Pokemon when you come across them. However it works, you got to watch out for some things like Shaman's Resistance, but you don't need too many damage modifiers to get around that. And of course, decks like Turbo Dark, Greninja Zorak is weak. Darkrai EX is weak, Darkrai GX is weak, so Sledgehammer can do a lot of damage. Swing Around can be a good <clears throat> additional thing that you could build up in the background after this Pokemon, let's say they don't knock it out for some reason. <clears throat> and then we got Diancy Prism Star. So as long as this Pokemon's on your bench, uh, it's going to do, your fighting type Pokemon are going to do plus 20 damage to your opponent's active. Um, this is really just damage modifier. Um, for similar reasons of Swing Around, you could power up Diamond Rain. Although I don't think that's going to be entirely effective. I have thought about it for um, when I'm facing like Trevenant, the matchup or anything like that. But uh, Trevenant's just a very poor matchup. If you hit that, just uh, see how the first turns go out and I'd probably concede that one. Or at least that's what I do. Uh, Groudon EX. This one's kind of cool because it has Ripclaw. You could kind of uh, discard energies in, in a pinch. And with damage modifiers, you could actually do some decent damage. Massive Rends can be okay. Um, I thought about adding Memory Energy into this deck just so we could use Groudon EX's Massive Rend in a pinch, but it's not entirely necessary. This is really just the best vessel to evolve into Primal Groudon EX. This Pokemon, it's, uh, it has its barrier, so you got to read where that little red bar is. Um, whenever your opponent's Pokemon or whenever your opponent plays a Trainer card, excluding tools and stadiums, prevent all effects. Of that card done to this pokemon your opponent wants to guzma this bad boy up no chance uh they want to fob it no way enhanced hammer we could go field blower we can go through a whole list of things and it's going to stop them all and that's why this card is so good it sits on the bench it's 100 your opponent can't do anything to it so in a matchup like egg Rao, where they are building up a big pokemon and you're trying to go to war this is a pokemon that gets through vile plume first and foremost you do have weakness energy or not weakness energy weakness guard energy that's what it is got him uh weakness guard energy 
Uh, will prevent the grass type weakness on this Pokemon. So you could withstand a hit from an aggro or something else. They can't fob it off. So it's chilling there. We also have, uh, what else do we have going on here? We have Gaia Volcano. So Gaia Volcano can do 100 plus 100. But if you think about damage modifiers, strong energies, this Pokemon can quite often build up four strong energies. And as they're knocking out your other things like Wobbuffet that you're using to slow them down, you can teammates out stuff. You can use supporters to get out stuff. Martial Arts Dojo, an extra 40 damage. So you can knock out a Gardevoir, Sylveon, um, GX, even if they have a Fighting Fury Belt. That was me all day at Portland. Um, totally works. It's a little bit scary. Matchups can get tight. But as long as you have a Rangaroo and Primal Groudon in play, you can usually get past their GX attack, especially when they shuffle you down to zero cards. So this card really fixes a lot of those big matchups that Hitmonchan just couldn't deal with because Hitmonchan just was not providing enough damage. Next up, we got the, the, punchy, the punchy Pokemon, Hitmonchan. We're really using this for hit and run to do 30 damage and go into a Wobbuffet. But 30 damage sounds awful until you realize that this card is spiritually a Dawn fan as a basic Pokemon. So hit and run, doing 30. Dawn fan was doing 40 as a stage one Pokemon. And then you hit to the bench. But Diancie's going to make it 50. Choice Band's going to make it 80. Strong Energy is going to make it 100. And then you can kind of power it up like that. So if you're going 100 Wobbuffet, and then your opponent's like, oh, all my Pokemon all have abilities. I'm going to pass. It, it really, 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 really makes it hard for them to get around that. So I think Hitmonchan is a super strong concept. Again, I think this deck has some st strong matchups. However, it does lose to Mew Box because we have Noivern GX that stops the majority of energies in this deck. And we also have... Uh, Ultra Necrozma, which is the new deck on the scene. I don't think that this deck necessarily can keep up with that. Wobbuffet, if anything, kind of hurts it. So, moving on, got Oricorio, the purple dancing burb. Uh, this is really played for Supernatural Dance. So, Supernatural Dance is kind of fi, because you can look at your opponent's discard pile, see how many Pokemon they have, and then ping their Pokemon however you want. Um, normally this is used for Vespaquin and Night March matchups because those can be tight and it works because Night March is going to have a lot of Pokemon in their discard pile. Vespaquin is going to have a lot of Pokemon in their discard pile. And then you spread it around. You choose the important Pokemon you want to knock out or you pre-plant some knockouts with it. This deck also plays Rescue Stretcher so you can get back your Oricorio in a pinch if you really need to. That alone is enough. Um, I've also had a lot of success with this card in the Zoro Garb matchup. They are discarding a lot of Pokemon. Whenever you take away their Sky Field, all their Pokemon are going to the discard pile. If they don't shuffle those Pokemon back in, you can quite often like snipe a Shaman or a Dedenne on their bench. Wobbuffet, we're not really attacking with this Pokemon. Um, I don't think it's even possible in this current list. Nope, it's not. Got the four fighting, the four strong, and the one weakness. Um, so it's not really uh, possible in this case to attack with the Wobbuffet, but it is one of the main Pokemon we have in this deck. You can send it up to block your opponent from using abilities. Sure, they can use Tapu Lele GX, but that's really the main psychic ability that they're going to be using. So your opponents are likely going to play a Shaman EX down. Now, don't make sure that they're not drawing their cards. Make sure that you stop the game immediately. But that is still the benefit that they played a Shaman EX on their bench for no reason. Or maybe they Ultra Balled wasted their entire hand to search for that to Dene. I've had it multiple times. It's heartbreaking to watch. But you want to know what? Our opponent should have also been paying attention to Bide Barricade. If I was able to take back every single mistake I made in Pokemon, I'd probably have a few more wins under my belt. Definitely done a few mistakes like that, and this card really makes your opponent hurt for it. So I think Wobbuffet's super cool. Um, it just stops X, and even if they're not making those mistakes, something like Zorak GX's trade, they're just sitting there and they're like, oh, I have no way around Wobbuffet. If you have two Wobbuffets, they can't even bring it around with an escape rope. Um, Wobbuffet's just a really strong ability, and a lot of decks really crumble to it. So this allows you, even if you have a shaky start, to get set up. 
Moving through the trainers, I will kind of bang these out a little bit quicker because every trainer is a lot more played than Pokemon. So Computer Search is a simple discard to search your deck for whatever you want. This deck, you can use Karina to grab a Computer Search, to grab an Energy, grab whatever you really need. Um, it, I find it's really helpful from that regard. So we got that. We got Great Catcher. So I thought that this was a cool addition to the deck. You can kind of bring up whatever uh, GX or EX that you want. Um, I like the fact that you could play teammates and grab a great catcher. So let's say you needed a strong energy to complete it, and then you can't play Guzman the same turn. This card can allow you to get to your win conditions a little bit quicker. The plus side about this deck is your GX Pokemon and EX Pokemon can't be brought up as long as it's a Primal Groudon. So you're not going to be affected by this. This is a card that is entering from Cosmic Eclipse. Looks to become a very strong card in the expanded format. So it's a good thing to not be playing many GX and EX. And the fact that ours doesn't even get affected by Great Catcher is awesome. Net, nest Ball, Long Rip the Nest Ball in Standard. Very cool card. Um, we want to search out basic Pokemon like Diancie, Hitmonchan, Wobbuffet, whatever we need to complete our combo. This is really going to help us. Professor's Letter had to stun on them with the awesome art. Um, I really like the wax seal on this one. Regardless, this allows us... Um, it's a searchable off Karina, so you can search your deck for energies to start powering up Pokemon. Really helps out a lot with the primal uh, Groudon aspect of this deck, so you can get that built up as quickly as possible. However, sometimes you're just missing an energy, so whether it's early game or late game, similar to a Gardevoir Sylveon deck in Standard, you want to be searching out that energy spinner off your first greens. We might want to be searching out Professor's Letter if we don't have access to an energy. Rescue Stretcher, um, our Pokemon have like next to zero HP. It's all really tiny. I think Rescue Stretcher here is super helpful in order to get our Pokemon back. Whether we need a Pokemon back immediately like a Ranguru or an Oracorio, or let's say they knocked out three Hitmonchans and we're chilling there with none of our punching boys. I think we 100% want to have a card like this in the deck and it is Karina searchable. Special Charge, we have five special energies in this deck and we only play nine. I think that's enough said. If we run into Faba, it's going to get a little spooky, but at least we have four basic fighting energies. Switch, I really don't like folding at all to Shock Lock or any matchups like that. This deck actually has a really good Shock Lock matchup, so if people are hyping that up going into Dallas, this might just be the play for you. Um, the single switch really does help swing the matchup into your favor because you can get around. It's not a supporter card. So I think that's, uh, it's it's worthwhile. VS Seekers, we only have three of these because I want to have extra supporters in the deck. And if you have a VS Seeker with no po or no supporters in your discard pile, VS Seeker is kind of, it's kind of dead. It's kind of looking lame. So VS Seeker seems really solid in a deck like this. It's played in most expanded decks. So enough said there. Martial Arts Dojo, an often underutilized card. Um, Dojo really, really, really packs a punch because as long as you're not using it on the buzzwall, all your Pokemon are going to get plus 10. Keyword, it does take basic fighting energy, so you actually have to put one of your four fighting energies onto the Pokemon. Not a strong, an actual just basic fighting energy in order to hit hard. And if you're running behind on prize cards, it's doing an additional 40. That could be huge itself. Next up, we got Power Plant. So you know GX and EX Pokemon in play have abilities. We don't have any GX or EX with abilities, um, but hopefully our opponent does. This is enough when sometimes you have you can't send up a Wobbuffet, or maybe you want to double lock your opponent um, against a Wobbuffet so you can power plant them and use Wobbuffet in case they can get rid of one but not the other. So I've had some plenty tricky situations and the fact that your opponent's double locked, sometimes they only view it that they're singular locked, and it will lead them into a path of misplays as well. I've seen people uh, move my Wobbuffet out in the active and try to use trade, then I tell them to stop or try to drop it to Dene, I tell them to stop. Um, Power Plant really does help prevent that. And it, it's just like, we want our opponent to not really do much playing Pokemon. It's really unfortunate, like all the opponents out there, but um, sometimes you want to stop what your opponent's doing 100%. Got Cynthia. So Cynthia is an underutilized card and expanded, I think. Just a simple shuffle and draw six can be incredibly strong. This deck has a lot of technical aspects and miniature little pieces um, to make micro plays later on in the game. So you want to be shuffling and drawing six cards instead of pitching it with Sycamore all the time. Guzma, we really just want to bring up our opponent's Pokemon and getting out of Wobbuffet can be huge as well. 
a lot of our Pokemon have big retreat, like a Ranguru and Buzzwool and Primal Groudon. So do keep in mind that Guzma is a switching effect as well. Karina, we got our Kickin' Lady. So we got four copies of this. We could search for a fighting Pokemon. It doesn't necessarily have to be basic, so you can search out a Primal Groudon EX. Um, and you can search your deck for a item card. So whether you need a Great Catcher or anything else like that, maybe you just need a Buzzwool and a Great Catcher to win the game. Something like that. Um, Karina can be absolutely amazing with all the different little trainer cards that we have in here, all the little item cards we have. And um, they did take away Reset Stamp in the expanded format as one of the recent ban list cards, and is really important to get around that. It's something where I might want to add an extra copy, so I might cut a Cynthia for an N. Not entirely sure about that, but I have been liking the two copies of N that we have right now. Professor Sycamore. So as much as I said I don't want to be discarding stuff, sometimes we have to discard stuff. We can get some stuff back with uh, Rescue Stretcher and Special Charge. And sometimes we want to get other technical supporters like teammates into our discard pile. Or we might not need a Primal Groudon in the matchup or Groudon at all. So it's one of those things where Sycamore is just good to draw cards. And I really like the alternative art of this card too. I know it's not related to the deck. I think it's just a really clean art. And I like this one the best out of all the Sycamores. Then we have Teammates. So you can only play this card if one of your Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Um, sometimes your opponent will be tricky and get around this with Hypnotoxic Laser, um, especially with Turbo Dark playing that for the most part. Um, searching your deck for any two cards and putting them into your hand can be absolutely amazing. You can search your deck for like a Power Plant, Great Catcher, and pull yourself back into the win. Or a Strong Energy and a Choice Band um, to do an extra 50. Or maybe even a Fighting Energy and a Martial Arts Dojo to do some extra damage. Depending on whatever you've built up in your hand, teammates can allow you to complete it. Then we have Bent Spoon. So this is a weird card to play. Um, you can prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. Um, I'm always worried about effects, and I think something like this is great on a Primal Groudon. So when your opponent's playing like a, let's say a Sylveon GX, and they're trying to lift up your Primal Groudon to win that matchup um, in the Gardevoir Sylveon GX deck, Ben Spoon would prevent that. It just has some random occurrences where it's strong. Um, if, if you're really not feeling it or if it's not working well for you in testing, then it's definitely possible for you to uh, get rid of this card in the deck. Then we got a couple copies of Choice Band. Um, this is really just a damage modifier for whichever Pokemon you attack with, where, whether it's Buzzwool, Hitmonchan, or Primal Groudon. If you're playing against GX Pokemon, got Floatstones, um, Wobbuffet needs to retreat, and you have some other Pokemon with some high level retreat costs. So I do think that those are important in this deck as well, just to kind of float in between Wobbuffet every single turn. Um, a key strategy that I like to do, if you think your Wobbuffet's going to get knocked out and you can predict that, don't put a float stone on it after your Hitmonchan. Let's say they knocked out a uh, Wobbuffet, you're hitting with a Hitmonchan. Don't put a float stone on a Pokemon that's about to get knocked out, especially if you don't need to retreat with it. That's my best advice I can give to you. Muscle Ban, very similar to Choice Ban, but with 20 damage less. However, this hits anything for 20 more damage. So if you're playing against a Night March deck, or if you're playing against a uh, Vespaquin deck, or anything else that's a single prize card attacker, that's it, it's just good against it. And then, moving on to the energies, the strong energies are doing the plus 20s. Remember that this is a stackable effect, so you can do 20, 40, 60, or even 80 damage if you get all four. I know with Primal Groudon, I've been able to successfully get all four, and a Fighting Energy, and a Martial Arts Dojo, and a Choice Band, and a Dianzi Prism Star, while I'm beyond on prize cards, to do some big damage. Um, I don't even know how much damage I did there. Just for fun, we'll go over it. So 100 plus 100, so that's 200, plus 40 for Martial Arts Dojo, 240, plus 8 was 320 from the Strong Energies, plus 30 from the Choice Band. So 350 damage with Primal Groudon EX. So you can definitely stun on your opponents with that. Weakness Guard Energy is mainly for Groudon EX um, because it can stop your opponent from playing, from getting the knockout with like an Egg Row. However, I have used this card on my Oracorio, which is randomly weak to Dark. 
or at least I believe it's worth Weak to Dark. There's a lot of cards in Expanded. Yeah, Weak to Dark. So if your opponent's playing Zorak GX, you can stop them from knocking you out if they do not have enough Pokemon in play. Sometimes your opponent will just look at the bird and realize that they only need to play uh, four. They'll be like, oh, I have three or four Pokemon in play. I don't need to put down those eggs. I've definitely punished a few opponents with that as well. Then we have the four basic fighting energies between Professor's Letter, Martial Arts Dojo, and just needing basic energy because there's a lot of fob and Enhanced Hammer in Expanded. I think that this is a great count for the deck. So here's where we got it. This is the perfect opportunity to screenshot if you like. I know it's a bigger screenshot than most, so I'll scroll through. And uh, this deck is very similar to the one that I played at Portland. So if you don't get a clear copy of this, you can head over to Limitless and check out my top 16 Portland list. I think I just changed, I, I did some minor changes. I think I cut reset stamp for like great catcher. That's probably about it. Um, and if there's any changes that you guys have any suggestions for in the comments, feel free to let me know um, below. I'd love to hear your suggestions for this deck. I've done a lot of uh, him on Chan playing, and if there's anything I'm missing, that'd be great. So I want to jump into some games on PTCGO, try to play at least a couple, and uh, yeah, let's really see how this deck performs. So let's jump right into that. Alrighty then. So we're playing against Snorlax Tomato. What's up? I'm assuming you like Snorlaxes and tomatoes, or uh, maybe it's just a fun pun. Let's uh, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so we're starting with uh, the bur the burb or choreo burb. Um, not not my favorite start, but as you can see, our our hand's kind of versatile. We got some options. I'm thinking about probably going with a sycamore here, maybe dropping a martial arts dojo, depending on what the matchup is. Let's see what our opponent flips. It looks like they mulligans, so they play a fighting focus sash nest ball. This might be like a Lucario. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to see how it goes. That might be a weird matchup. Um, your opponent had no basic Pokemon. Yes. Oh, we are playing against Groudon ourselves. So Groudon with Robo Sub. And they got a Fighting Energy. So I don't know exactly how Groudon's going to be. That's a... It might be a grindy matchup. It might be one where I need to set up my own Groudon. At least they were really nice to us and set up a tropical beach. It's kind of cool. Um, here I'm just going to go Karina. And I'm going to get out my own Primal Groudon, I think. I'm going to go Professor's Letter as well. So, Professor's Letter, I'm just going to grab one. No point in me doing anything else here. I'm only putting on the Fighting Energy because I am worried about their Groudon EX. Um, we don't have Focus Sash here, so they might actually be able to knock us out. This might actually be a really rough matchup, but I might go in with like a Hitmonchan. Let's, uh, let's pass here. I'm actually um, while I'm playing, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up Focus Sash because it's a card that I haven't seen in a while. Focus Sash TCG. Be funny if we were playing like a mirror match. So if the fighting Pokemon this card is attached to has full HP and would be knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, that Pokemon is not knocked out and remaining HP becomes ten instead. Then discard this card. So <clears throat> honestly, I'm thinking I might be able to hit them with like a. Supernatural Dance, if they're able to discard a card at some point. Discard a Pokemon, that is. So, we'll see how that goes. Just, uh... Okay, so they got the two fightings there. Won't really be able to knock them out in the meantime, so... Um... <sighs> I really, 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 I just want to go VS Seeker and evolve into the Primal Ground as well. I'm going to get the Karina out and I'm going to search with Karina for a Primal Groudon and a Nest Ball. 
So Primal Groudon, Nest Ball sounds kind of fire. We can knock out that Diancy in a couple turns with a Hitmonchan. So we're going to do that, put Hitmonchan out. Our opponent's like, what the heck is this? And let's go for this right here, yeah. Let's evolve. So we're big chilling. Ooh, and it's telling me I have not used Mega Evolution on this new computer yet. So it, it's been some time. I've actually, uh, before Portland, I was talking over with my good friend, uh, Brian Hunter. I test Pokemon with him as well. And uh, we were, we were kind of going over this deck and we I didn't even have a chance because my Airbnb connection was not good for Wi-Fi. So did not test this deck at all online beforehand. It was one of those uh, in real life concepts that just came to be played it at a challenge the night before there was 80 players i came second by going like five one or six one something like that it was ridiculously large and uh yeah brought it the next day and then proceeded to just do very well <laughs> making top 16. i'm assuming they're starting a fighting energy to get it back with mega turbo so considering their deck is a traditional him on chant or traditional um deck it, it might be tough for us but the fact that they have primal grout on we have little attackers they might not have the little attackers that we do um so that might give us an edge here at least i'm hoping so um we do have to remember that this is only worth two prize cards it's not like the new v max pokemon it's not like anything else like that so uh and i, I need to remember that i can't great catcher or guzma that pokemon up so, got a plan for the full six prize cards. I think they're going to try to go with double uh, Primal Groudon. Might get another Groudon EX here. Yep. And you can see that since they're playing it, they have the split, I believe. Oh, no, that's Ripclaw. I like playing a split when I play Primal Groudon like that. Maybe they'll decide to go in with, like, an attack because they know that I can't build it up. I think I might want to go one more turn with Primal Groudon EX. I think that sounds like totally the play because this only has what 240 yeah so it's gonna get knocked out this matchup doesn't seem good unless i can knock out that primal groudon oh they're gonna end me that could be that could be kind of hot i don't hate that it's really hoping for an energy but we have the Diancy Prism Star as a prize card. There's the Focus Sash. Perfect. Okay, we did get an energy, so that, that's kind of fire. I'm going to build up this one more turn. I'm going to Nest Ball into a Guru. Probably should have waited a little bit on everything, but let's go Karina. Let's get our own Diancy Prism Star out here. Let's go for a computer search. I'm not really worried about Bent Spoon. And I'm not really worried about that Karina because I don't need to search out too much. So I'm just going to go with that to grab a... Uh, I just want to grab a strong energy, start plugging away, because this is built one turn away from getting a knockout. You can knock out pretty much anything. So, are they going to put anything in their discard pile? They have one there. I don't know, I probably should have grabbed like a, a just a basic fighting energy. Let's go Tropical Beach. See what our opponent wants to do here. Ooh, they're going in with the Guzma already. Eep. Are they going to Guzma up Hitmonchan, Oranguru, or Diancy? I wouldn't have gone in with the Hitmonchan. Like, they're wasting a stadium and it can leave me in control 
Okay, so I have that. That's completely fine. Four, five, six, seven. And of course we get the floatstone. I'm actually probably okay with floatstone here. There's an S ball. I'm just gonna get out a Hitmonchan. Put the strong energy on the Hitmonchan. And then I'm gonna. I don't even know if I wanna. Yeah, I'm gonna play N. I wanna try to get one more basic Pokemon, like a Wobbuffet, that I can at least sacrifice. Not like my favorite turn by any means, but like, it's okay. And I have a Guzma for next turn, so that's cool. So let's retreat. We're gonna do three, five. We're gonna do some damage. And yes, we're gonna switch into the Wob here. So our opponent's probably gonna try to heal this damage off, but I end them, so their turn's unplanned. So unless they actually got something to heal immediately off of that end, we might be able to knock out their Primal Groudon and then put them in a position where they don't have much going on the following turn. Um, they also don't have a Stadium and they can't bring up our Primal Groudon. So we might actually have a favorable Groudon matchup here. We'll see what they do with VS Seeker. Maybe they're just gonna knock out this other Hitmonchan. They're just going to discard that from play. Okay. I guess they just don't really have too much going on there. Um, how many do they have in their discard pile? Just the one? Okay, so let's go Guzma. Bring up their Diancy, because that's something that we could actually hit. I might as well attach an energy to this Primal Groudon to give myself some options. And I don't want to play down a stadium for our opponent so that we waste this stadium when we want to get a knockout with our own Gaia Volcano. So I'm just going to go hit and run. Considering their hand seems a little whack, I'm going to send up Oricorio. They might not have the necessary power, and Oricorio is not going to do too much effort in this matchup. It's just cute that there's a Wobbuffet in their discard pile. Um, they've also used two vs seekers already so we've only used one let's see let's see what they have coming up they might be so confused by what's going on here that i have him on chan in the deck we could knock out their diancy next turn which might put us in a solid position i wish we had a way to bring that up though that'd be really cool And our opponent's just taking some time here to think. Okay, so we're gonna go Focus Sash on the other one. And they have Cynthia. It'd be really nice to hit the Oracorio, or hit them with an Oracorio, or hit them. I think I just gotta kind of hit and then get prepared from that aspect. So we got another Martial Arts Dojo. That's fine. I'm just gonna retreat. Send this up. Hit and run. Knock out their Diancie, evening up the game. Doesn't really make the matchup great here, but like I, I don't foresee them hitting with a Primal Grad on this turn. They might try to build up their second one. But at that point, if they draw another single prize card, which they'd have to, I have Buzzwill on Martial Arts Dojo. So these aren't worth prize cards. Ooh, that's actually a spicy. That's worth two prize cards as well. They're just wasting a lot of cards so far. Sometimes these lists play uh, Team Rocket's Handiwork. So that might be really awkward if they did just pull those out at the last second. But, uh... Oh, you wanna know what? I think I'm gonna go in here with N. Just start knocking out these Robo-subs at least. Got a Fighting Energy. Don't really wanna build up on that, but like... Hmm. Yeah, I don't want them to Guzma me up. I'm just going to leave that there because I saw the Martial Arts Dojo. Um, so I'm going to retreat. And I'm going to go hit and run. I don't think they're going to hit us still. I kind of want to have a Buzzwool moment where we can get a big knockout with Buzzwool because Buzzwool could be hitting for 180 damage with because 120 plus 40 from Martial Arts Dojo plus 20 from Diancy Prism Star if they take a prize card. 
on us out of nowhere so they might not know that but I'm trying to fully get prepared for that they probably don't oh they do run a third primal grad on it's a really weird list so I guess they're gonna try to go in they haven't used a a spec right so I think they're probably gonna go in with a uh, something else probably like a scramble switch playing three is wild just not expecting that at all save the or choreo some slack so we'll go retreats tack send up wob and we want to use our primal grout on for our last prize card it'd be really nice if we could have focus sash on there but it is what it is. I don't know if they can hit us for 240. I'd really, like, I my, my end goal is to probably save, like, N at the very last second. Um, Once they take a knockout. And they're down to, like, a low amount of prize cards. So then my Primal Groudon can put in some work and I can control the game. Um, so I think that's how I'm going to swing it. But we'll see exactly what they're doing because I'm still a little bit confused with what they have going on in their deck. Um... Some Primal Groudon decks are a little bit different, so it looks like they went off the beaten path a little bit here. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what they're grabbing off the Battle Compressor or what their plans are. Oh, Counter Catcher. They keep on playing Cynthia. I wonder if they have a way to avoid deck out. Because this is also a matchup that I feel like they might just deck out and they have 13 cards left um this game could take a while let's see exactly how it goes okay um we do have a fighting energy there Surely don't want to play it yet. Have they used another VS Seeker? Nope, they have not. I don't really feel comfortable taking a knockout um, or doing anything like attaching extra energy because my deck only plays nine. Uh, so let's attack with the Himonchan. Let's send up Wob. So I don't know if they're going to send up a Robo Sub to get one last turn out of it. Or if they're going to drop a Guru or something like that. Um, I'd really like them to give me one more single prize card Pokemon. But it looks like uh, Snorlax Tomato here is uh, playing around it quite nicely. Okay, so it looks like they're going to go in with the Primal Groudon. Hopefully they don't heal off everything. But uh, we'll, we'll see exactly how it goes. Power Plant. Oh, okay. So this is definitely our turn to go in with the Primal Groudon. Or not the Primal Groudon, sorry. The, the Buzzwool, because they're at four prize cards. So we haven't wasted any fighting energies. So let's just go Martial Arts Dojo. How much damage would we do with this? We do 3, 6, 8, 1, 40. 3, 6, 8, 10, 140. 140, 210. That's not enough, unfortunately. So, considering we don't have it in our discard pile, and I don't really want to stick more away in energy, I'm just going to go Cynthia and hope to get a fighting energy. Uh, we were close. Um, we might not actually be able to get the knockouts. Can we do anything else? We can go one, two. We can't play around that, unfortunately. So, we missed it. We'll just go hit and run, and our opponent will be able to get a knockout on our Buzzwool. That's fine. Our Buzzwool is wasted at this point. Um, <sighs> that's really, really, really unfortunate. Like, I'm very disappointed in that turn. Because the 180 would have been very nice there to get a knockout. Okay, awesome. 
that's like just the saddest thing to see. Um, cool. So we we got a couple turns. We have we have a two turn plan here. So we've played one martial arts dojo. That is the only one that we've played. I'm gonna send up or choreo to give some options here. Of course we had to get another <laughs> stadium. Because I'm trying to knock this guy out. Yikes. Um, okay. So I'm going to go power plants because our opponent's just going to knock us out regardless. Let's see what we have in our discard pile. Let's just shuffle those in. Shuffle the three pokes in. One, two, three. Perfect. Fortunately, we're going to go Sycamore because we're trying to get an end on our opponent when they knock out one more Pokemon. And we do have a power plant. We did not get an end though. So. And I'm assuming our opponent has a lot. Like, they just put four, five, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're hitting one, two, three, four, five. And they just drew a prize card. Like, they're still chilling. I just need to get a BS Seeker. Like, it can't be this hard. Um, I'm going to put Wobbuffet there. And I'm just going to try to build this up. Like, this might just work, too, if our opponent just doesn't have a response. Um, I'm going to send up, unfortunately, War Choreo? I was thinking about setting up Wob, but our opponent, if they just decide not to take a knockout, they might be able to, like, screw with us for a turn where we just, like, sit there and active. If we miss, like, a Floatstone, like, our chances of missing a Floatstone are pretty slow, like, raw, but, um, I'm not here to take chances. And I don't think the Wobble Fett's gonna affect it. It just depends on what our opponent decides to do here. Like, I hope they just really just take the knockout on the Oricorio. That would be the best position, or the best opportunity for us to take a comeback. We could even just get the knockout with the him on Chan. Uh, Field Blower. They could take away the choice bands and the float stone. Three. I, I, I don't see any reason why not to take off those two. I wouldn't take off power plants. I wouldn't take off focus sash. So um, I don't know if our opponent's just like doesn't have much going on or if they're just uh, having fun with us. Or maybe it's a connection lag, but those are the, obviously the best two that they could take off. There's nothing else that we have in play, so... Um, see what our opponent does here. I, I really hope they just don't deck us out or that they have the Team Rocket's handiwork. What? In the heck? Okay. So, we're getting the knockout with him on Chan here. That That's the big goal. And we did get a Choice Band. And we can put another Hitmonchan down. And we do have fighting, so we will get the knockouts. And we do have power plants. Let's see if Orangaroo can get us the end that we're looking for. No, okay. So I don't want to take that away. Um, yeah, I, I think our opponent, like, if we just go for Professor Sycamore, they're just going to be like, ha we got you with Team Rocket's handiwork. Um, maybe they're just stuck here. Three. Actually, are we getting the knockout? Three, five. Uh, it doesn't matter at all. We're just getting the knockout with Magnum Punch. It's better to just keep up in the active. I don't think our opponent's going to have some kind of crazy knockout, and we're going to be at three prize cards. Please give us a VS Seeker. Please give us a VS Seeker. We keep on getting these cards that I don't want to pitch away. fighting energy maybe they'll just go straight into a pass 
That'd be super ideal. Oh, Mega Turbo. Ugh. Don't have another Mega Turbo. Please, 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 please. We need to get in. <laughs> we need to literally just put them at an awful position. Um, but we're going to run out of stadiums. We already did. That's our last stadium, so... Um, N's not going to do anything for us, unfortunately. So, um, if our opponent has energy, which I'm assuming they do, I'm assuming they're going to be able to take a knockout. Actually, we get a first knockout into them, then we can end them. So, basically, I'm saying we have next to 0% chance of winning this game. I'm going to start building up this. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that there, because I would be doing 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. I don't think it matters. Um... Okay, I'm going to build up this guy, just in case, and I'm going to say, screw everything, if they play handiwork, that's cool, Great Catcher's going to do nothing for us anyways, let's just go seven one two three let's go hit and run i'm gonna stay right as we are in the active because if we can get an end on our opponent next turn they they might not be able to do anything because they're gonna be down to one prize card here don't know what they have here I really 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 don't know what they have here are they gonna attach the choice bands okay So the Focus Sash is going to make sure that we don't get a knockout. We need to prevent them from getting a stadium so they can only do 120. So here's our chance and our only chance. I'm going to use Guru. Send that up. Still have a switch. Flowstone on Guru. And I'm going to go BS Seeker and I'm going to play N. If our opponent gave us one more prize card, we'd just be great catching for the win right now. But we have three left. This is worth two. So we need to end our opponent and hope that they don't really don't get much. If they get a stadium, they win the game instantly. Actually, I think they'd only do 220. Yeah, they actually would not win the game instantly. Let's retreat, send this up. And we're gonna go Gaia Volcano for uh, hopefully a two shot. Our opponent's gonna have two out of the 17 cards that they had available in their deck. And I'm hoping they just attack our Primal Groudon because that would put us in such a winning position. Um, if they get like strong energy, stadium. There's a BS Seeker. Oh no. They get Guzma Switch. Oh. Whew. Probably shouldn't have played Karina. I didn't properly check through the deck. What is gonna go on here? Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. There's a teammate's to him on Chan, so if they bring up one of our Pokemon, we lose. 
Can we take this? We're getting right down to the end of it. Please have nothing. I tried to plan this game out the best I could. Koopa? I don't think we have an out. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we have an out here. I think our opponent got us. I don't think we have an out here at all. Well, if I can shut it off, we we just ran out of, we were one energy away from winning this game and our poor top decks into it. So um, we could go VS Seeker and I could prolong this game for one, two, three, four, five turns. Um, and our opponent would just be seven turns away from win winning the game at that point. But um, they got it. That was well played on their behalf. That was close. Sad. We tried. Good game, Snorlax Tomato. But it showed how the Primal Groudon can be good in this matchup. Oh, they're just going to draw and stun on us. Oh, rip. Zero cards in deck. We lost my deck out. I was not expecting that at all. So, I think this is probably going to be uh, Alternate Charisma, which is probably an awful matchup. We'll play it out just so you can see. Um, the Primal Groudon matchup was really close that we played last one, but... We won the flip. Sure. It's a really weird hands. PTC Geoisms, am I right? If it's alternate charisma, I know it's just awful and I want to scoop, but I won't do that. Um, so we'll start with Buzzle in case they start like Trubbish. This deck can donk. I'm not going to try hard in this matchup if they start with alternate charisma, but yep. Let's just do this. Hope they don't get anything. I'm not even gonna put a basic Pokemon down. Um, I'm just gonna go. Actually, I, yeah, I will put a basic Pokemon down. So it shows how versatile the versatility of this deck, how versatile it can become. So right now I'm hitting three, five, seven, nine. Um, if they don't get a knockout, I could actually knock them out next turn um, with a computer search Karina. So we'll leave it like that. If they knock us out, um, I will just concede. So there's a Trub. Nest Ball, probably for another alternate Charisma or Trubbish. I think those are basically their only options. Sometimes they play a Wobbuffet in this deck, which I think is good to get around decks like Aggro. There's another Nest Ball. And there's a Guzman Hala, so they're gonna, unless they have some really awkward prizing, they will be able to shut off Alternate Charisma with Silent Lab and get a double Dragon Energy. Um, probably putting on a Life Dew as well, just to make this matchup even worse. So um, this is one of the single prize card matchups that this deck, we just can't really keep up with it. So yeah, Fighting Fury Belt. So really unfortunate matchup here. Um, I'm just going to concede this one and give it to our opponent. Um, I know that it's bad going to the matchup, and you can see how, just how bad it is. Even though we have 130 HP Pokemon set up on the first turn, they now have 150 HP Pokemon that hits for 170 and discards our energy. And if we put Wobbuffet against it, it doesn't do anything, and they shut off all of our abilities. Um, so this is basically one of the worst matchups I could ever think of for this deck. 
um, and we could only get a little bit lucky if we were to um, somehow get a knockout on them. Now, I thought about adding in a couple Fabas so we could loop Fabas and just kind of like prolong the game as much as possible, but um, that's about it. Let's see if our opponent had anything in their hand though. Let's just do that to see. Even Primal Groudon wouldn't do anything because they could still discard the energies off Primal Groudon and then two shot it. See if our opponent just like passes here or not. Cause they only had one card in their hand. Yeah, they had a Sycamore. So good game to our opponent. Um, it's just a really bad matchup. So there we have it folks. Unfortunately, we, uh, we, we actually lost both games that we played. Um, one was a long game against Primal Groudon, um, a really weird Primal Groudon list, I should say, that I think had I played a little bit better, I might have had a chance against it, but um, you want to know what it is, what it is, and I think our opponent got slightly lucky at the end to pull the game out against us, but that's, it, it would have been the same thing if I had it. Um, I didn't know they played Hoopa, so let's just chalk it down that I didn't know the contents of their deck, I got surprised, didn't properly plan, discarded too many energies, and I struggled to find N and uh, get set up at some points of that game. Next matchup we played against Ultra Necrozma. I said it in the beginning of the video, it's an awful matchup. And I was just not really feeling playing that game out, especially with our opponent having such a strong start. Um, so don't let those losses discourage you. So I think it's a really strong choice, especially if we are expecting a lot of Turbo Dark, Zoro Garb, Egg Rao, Picarom. Um, Guardian, those are all very favorable matchups. Shocklock, um, Night March, Vespaquin. Um, that being said, I really appreciate everyone going into and watching this video. Um, I appreciate all the support. Um, if you haven't already, please give this video a like. We do uh, we do have other ways that you could help us out. You could go to uh, patreon.com slash rarecandytcg to become a patron. Um, we have some exclusive goodies there. So some discount codes, we got exclusive content, or you could go to uh, rarecandytcg.com, pick up some sweet merch. So if y'all if y'all are at Dallas, uh, give me a holler, come pull me out to the side, say hi. I love meeting everyone. That's it, I'm Zach Lesage. Follow me on Twitter at ZLesagePokemon. Thanks so much, everyone. Have yourself a good one.